Did you see anything familiar when he defeated that corpse born? Like fragments, cores, or inheritance inside his body? Whatever you want to call it. You should know it better than anyone else. Really? It didn't leave anything behind? And I'm afraid you haven't won yet. The FAC has raised the threat level for the DIS-C surveillance zone, and is also actively dispatching formal troops to support West District. However, there have been a lot of obstacles. Personnel attrition is just one of them. Mania cases have spiked across Eastside these days. The Ninth Agency confirmed they were all caused by Parma forces. City Council issued an emergency transfer order for the FAC's main troops to fortify Eastside. Yes, even though it's part of the enemy's containment plan, they still demand that we prioritize protecting Eastside. Are we going to stay here? Can we trust that man called Julian? Chief, are you going to be Rustfire's leader now? Why did they write it this way? You, you shouldn't be thrown into the public eye like this. Gosh, Chief looks furious. What did they write to piss Chief off so much? The writing's too ugly for me to understand. Will you read it out for me, Hikate? The executive officer's brutal mech has been totally destroyed. The mysterious beast is teetering on the brink of defeat. Shocking truth about the Drifter Camp's victory revealed. The hero is a delicate bureaucrat with two damsels. Regardless of creed or color, come fight for justice. The hero from the Bureau has joined our side. The architect Julian weeps with joy and faints on the operating table. Chief calls out to all in West District. If the dawn does not come, let the fire burn. Embrace change and make Syndicate great again. Rustfire's propaganda style is a bit dramatic and sometimes stretches the truth. This is just to catch people's eyes. To win people over, we have to be seen first. Uh, I don't agree with this wording, especially the part where it describes you as delicate. Even if it's meant to give people confidence, it's too biased. I'll change it up for sure. How about we change your pick? Add some muscles. Mm, it'll take too long for you to actually buff up. Maybe we could draw some abs on you, then take another photo in different clothes. That way you'll look more like Zoya. Syndicans value outward strength over mental resolve. They trust those who look tough, so we have to change your image. What's your take on this, Chief? Cup of coffee? Ten sugar cubes. Here, try some. <laughs> it's fine. Levina's not here. No one will reprimand me. Oh, she's a lot better now. Good thing you cast your shackles on her in time. The mania in her is now under control. Maybe she'll even become a sinner when she wakes up.
<sighs> You're right. You've waited long enough. <clears throat> I've already prepared everything I need to give you. <sighs> it's all here. To me and to Rustfire, you're not only a friend, but you're the one who led us out of the darkness. The hope you brought to everyone is real. You were the one who saved the Drifter Camp that day. Not Zoya or anyone else. <laughs> really? Maybe it's because I remembered to follow my heart again. I'm really happy to have you here. No. I'll send you to a special place where you can take your time to read everything. Don't peek before that. You'll get caught. Mm-mm. It's not a test. You'll understand when you get there. I know you just want to complete your mission. That place is the easiest spot for you to complete it. Don't you still have to find the other half of the corpus you're hunting? Uh, everything is explained in the letter. You'll know when you get there. Take this info as a token of thanks from Rustfire. I'm not going. I have to stay here. I have surgery in a bit. <laughs> it's about time. I'll escort you to the car. Ooh, so polite all of a sudden. Is it because you know who's the real boss now? Hmm. Please come with me. Damn, it's gotten into you. this place? Have we been whisked away to Eastside? You're indeed still in Syndicate. I saw a huge robot just now. Even though it's broken now, but that steel claw is still fucking terrifying. If Syndicate really had something like that, the gangs would be nobodies. They'd all kneel and call us daddy. 
<laughs> well, times have changed. The mech you saw was an old model from 28 years ago. That was the golden age of Syndicate. The Inner Bay Rail is a special rail track for transporting hypercubes out of the mines. It's actually a few years older than Keylon Square. Too bad it was too close to Dis C. The big explosion destroyed everything. Back then, if you stepped above ground, you'd see the industrial center of the world. It was the sole place that produced hypercubes. Forget about the gangsters. Even Eastsiders would call you daddy. No fucking way! It was that awesome?! Yeah. Unlike now, it was an honor to work in West District back then. The best and brightest fought to come to Inner Bay. Were they really talented? Extremely. On average, one of them equals ten Zoyas. You can calculate for yourself how many Hellas that would be. Ten Zoyas? Wow! Then that would be... Stop messing with me! To be honest, I didn't expect them to give you a ride. The conflict between Rustfire and the Executive Committee has worsened. So they desperately need your strength. I thought they'd do everything to convince you to side with the Drifter camp. But it's better this way. Otherwise, you'd be in a very difficult position. The Bureau suits you best. Ms. Chief, when you go back after this mission, please get that child to read more. She's from Syndicate, too. She shouldn't be fooled so easily. You little ducker! If you have the balls, don't hide behind a phone! Quiet. You'll attract the enemy's attention and put us in danger. Nonsense! You can barely hear me over the screeches of this old rail car. Right, Chief? Why do you look so grumpy? Akate, you've been acting really weird lately. Did you pop the wrong pills? What's the matter with you? Hey, Chief, do you know what's going on? Stay alert. There's contamination ahead. entered BR-000 zone of influence. Though BR-000's core body is strictly controlled by the FAC, its radiation is expensive. The Inner Bay area is the most severely affected. I think you will soon. BR-2. Cleaned this just a few days ago. How did dirty things leak into it again? Be careful, Chief. You can't get hurt. That small, scrawny shorty is our leader? Don't make trouble. That's a very important person.
Hope you arrived safely. Now, as promised, I will tell you everything you need to know. You just came through this city's largest underground transport network. If you had the chance to go above ground, you'd have seen a completely different side of Syndicate. Grand buildings, meticulous design, stability, wealth, hope, everything was neat and orderly. This was West District's inner bay, the birthplace of this city's hypercube industry. People dammed the farthest end of this sea, carving out some relatively stable waters. They then dug deep mines in inner bay. The hypercube was the treasure they stole back with their wisdom from the fearsome Dis Sea. It was the only strategic resource of the era of nightfall, and the bedrock of Dis City's prosperity and status. People were the foundation of Inner Bay's industry, and many talented workers gathered here. Back then, mech technology wasn't advanced to penetrate mania fields. Senior technicians had to manually operate mechs to dig one mine after another. In NF-84, the Dis-C explosion occurred, giving birth to BR-000. By the time the broken front line was formed, 95% of Inner Bay had been contaminated. Hypercube production plummeted, hitting this city's economic and political status hard. Inner Bay's workers were the ones who stayed behind in the ravaged mining zone to help this city pull through its most difficult period. They formed militias to fight the emerging gangsters, guarded the remaining mines against further contamination, and gave it their all to boost hypercube reserves. <sighs> Sorry for saying so much, but that was the West District we were once so proud of. The people back then were the noblest of souls in the Golden Age. We all love Syndicate deeply. Next, let's talk about BR-002, which is the Black Ring you want to investigate. In NF-104, automated mining tech became common across East Side. On the other hand, due to contamination, outdated equipment and work injury compensation costs, Inner Bay was deemed a negative asset by the higher-ups and was discarded. But the workers didn't want to give up. They begged the company to keep the mines and outdated equipment, so as to preserve West District's economic lifeline. In the end, the company agreed to the workers' demands on the condition that they gave up all claim to compensation. The two sides completed the handover of the largest mine, W31, on November 25th. Inner Bay won for Syndicate its own hypercube mine. But on November 28th, an incident erupted in W31. Workers got trapped, and contamination spread into the mine, which soon developed into a black ring. BR002. We have very little data on BR002. BR000 and 002 were too close in proximity, triggering the mass spread of mania. BR-000 expanded rapidly and was barely halted at the FAC's third broken front line. The radiation from the contaminated zone continued to seep out, eventually covering all of Inner Bay. The industrial zone became completely isolated from the outside world. Not even the FAC could penetrate this layer of contamination. After a few years, they confirmed that the M value inside disappeared, but could not confirm the reason why. So, they just left. The survivors of Inner Bay, including their family members, total around 200 people. Afterwards, the Drifter camp was formed. As for those who were trapped in the mine, I could only confirm the names of 13,004 of them. The Romanesque monument was built in their honor. 
You asked us about our relationship with BR-002. This is it. I've also told you everything I know about BR-002. If you want to know more, please go to the next page. Since you've made it this far, welcome to Shelter W-31. Like I said, this is the easiest place for you to complete your mission. Once you leave the shelter, you can take a boat across Inner Bay to mine W-31 in 10 minutes. This is also the ruins of BR-002. This was once the Corpseborn's base. You said the half that fled is great at hiding because it leaves no traces, since all the contamination gets transferred to the dead half. Well, lucky you. Because the dead half is at the bottom of W-31. Once you destroy this half, the other half will no longer be able to hide its contamination, naturally exposing itself. Rustfire will show you the way. The fighters here are at your command. This shelter, which has been a sanctuary for inner base workers since before the broken front line, has got your back. We couldn't let go of our past, so we came back and did what even the FAC couldn't. We used inner bay technology to resurrect the shelter and stockpiled enough hypercubes to hold off the contamination. The battle might be tough, but you can always come back to recharge your supplies. If I told you this is your reward for helping the drifter camp, you wouldn't believe me. You're always such a cautious person. Yes, we each have our own goals, but they're all for the future of Syndicate. If you're willing to guard our secret from your superiors, then please read on. Rustfire wants to recapture BR-002. Eliminate the Corpseborn, get rid of the Black Ring, and rebuild West District's mines. You're reading too slowly, Miss Chief. Let me read it out loud for you. I came here together with you, Chief. I read the rest already. Let me tell you their real motive. They want to take over a Black Ring and turn it into a mining zone for West District. Their next step is to engage in smuggling and collude with the Outlands to undermine the economy and security of Dis City. This is a serious crime. All of Dis City's hypercubes belong to the state. Any Black Ring ruins or leftover mines in West District are under the jurisdiction of the Executive Committee. Nirvana is the only company legally entitled to use them. Chief, you've made a great discovery. Come, let's wipe out these traitors together. Wait, you want to cover for them? You've made new friends since the Legion Rebellion? You want to betray us, the Ninth Agency, and Dis City again? Good reaction. Relax, I didn't come to fight. I just wanted to make this once-in-a-lifetime encounter with you more dramatic and memorable. Now let's have a proper introduction. Hello, Chief. I'm the Shelter Liaison. I'm also a Rustfire publicist, Syndicate war correspondent, renowned Drifter Camp author, Dis City Ghostwriter, and the greatest romantic poet of our time. 
I am Ray, but you can call me by my beautiful pen name. Raven, I write poems with darkness, and I've come to record this magnificent mission 